hello, everybody. This is Melissa from stampwithmelissa.com. Hey, Barbara. Barbara's got my catchphrase down. She said, hello, hello. <laughs> she was ready a few minutes early and I was about, I don't know, a few seconds late. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> but welcome, welcome, everybody. Um, this is my Tuesday night live video. It's my live class, my weekly live class. Um, so say hello as you join. Hi, mom. Um, this is streaming both to Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. Hi, Alicia. So you can watch on whichever platform you prefer. Okay. Um, let me get, I had a busy work day today and then I got, in, um, I don't want to say caught in a phone call because it was a good phone call. Uh, but I ended up in a phone call this afternoon. And so I got down here a little bit later than I wanted to. And so I'm just trying to finish getting ready. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome everyone. Thanks for saying hello. Okay. So before we get started today, um, I just wanted to let you know a few things. So first we're going to use the Butterfly Kisses Suite this week. I'm using it all week long. And the projects that I use today, you can actually get the Make and Takes for for free by placing an order in my online store. So you can see at the bottom of this video, there's that pink banner there. Um, shop.stampwithmelissa.com will take you right into my online store. And that host code right there, the BH46UFTC, is the code you want to use. It links to this class. Um, and if your order is in before Friday, June 17th, at the end of the day, so like 11.59 p.m., you will get the kits for this week for free from me. Um, orders of $35 will qualify for that. And then if you go to $50, you will get a pack of the, of course, yours will be a full pack. Mine is not, but you'll get a pack. Oh, it's very, very washed out. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's so shy. It's so like washed out in this view, but these guys, you can see the blue ones at least. Uh, you'll get the fun flowers resin shapes for free as a gift from me if your order is over $50 this week along with this class, because we're going to use them in all of our projects today. Okay. So other than that, let me just share two more things that I wanted to just make sure you're aware of. Um, one of them is that I am hosting a mystery craft box and I'm super excited about it. I did a Facebook live and I put the video on YouTube yesterday with all of the information. Um, and that also has the link to register. I think I put them in the description of this video as well, but now I can't remember. So if I didn't, I apologize. Um, but you want to make sure you subscribe or sign up for that by June 30th because it's going to be so fun and I cannot wait. It features a new two new bundles actually from the new holiday catalog. And it's an amazing, amazing uh, set of product that I've got planned for you. Some really exciting cards. You make um, six projects and you get two each of the six projects. So you'll actually get to make 12 projects and then six different designs. And some of them might be 3D. Shh, you don't know, it's a mystery. <laughs> All right, and then the second thing is that I am also offering a product share for the new upcoming mini catalog. The mini catalog that's coming up starts on July 1st, and it's actually, I like to call it the holiday catalog. It has everything fall, Halloween, and Christmas in it. So winter, all that good stuff in there. Um, so I am offering a DSP and ribbon share for that. If you want more information, I think that link's in the description too. If it's not, head over to my newsletter. You can find everything there or my website, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna flip my camera down here. So there we go. So you can see we've got the best butterflies bundle. That's what we're gonna use today. This is the bundle that corresponds with the Butterfly Kisses suite. So it is photopolymer because we need to be able to see all of these fun butterfly shapes. You can see I've got some of my stamps missing because we're going to use them today. And this super duper fun die set. It is, uh, this is a rock star die set. This is like the cutest butterfly set I think we have ever had. And I love it. So super, super fun. Actually, fun fact, my niece has a dress and um, she wore it. I didn't know that she like had this dress, right? She wore it a few days after I got to see this suite in the catalog. And I was like, wait a second. You know, I've heard that our some of our Stampin' Up! artists and concept artists, hey, Debbie, uh, will actually like take pictures of people's dresses out in public or like wallpaper or whatever as inspiration for some of the things that go into these catalogs. And I saw her dress and I was like, this must have been one of those moments because her dress looks exactly like this sweet. Same colors, everything. So cute. Anyway, we're, we are going to do some die cutting today with this set, okay? And then when I mentioned that you get the card kits for free, you might have to do some die cutting on your own. You will actually have to do some die cutting on your own. And all the die cutting you'll have to do is whatever is die cut out with this set, okay? And then I don't do any stamping for you because that is against Stampin' Up's policy. So this is page 36 and 37 of the annual catalog. 
beautiful suite featuring several of our new in colors. I love them. Um, and of course, those flowers that I was talking about as well. Oh, yes. Barb says she loves the set. Me too. It's so cute. Um, and this beautiful designer series paper, which is super duper fun to play with as well. So let me move this out of the way. And then I'm going to show you real quick. I posted some cards on Monday and then today. I was going to say Monday and Tuesday. Oh, no, you guys, there's a bug. <laughs> Sorry to have a squirrel moment. Oh, there it is. Nope. I got it. I hope that wasn't. Oh, I didn't get it. Now I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my little broom out here. Sorry for the diversion. Let me get my little broom. I got to open up my little trash can. Gosh, you guys, I don't know if you'll remember this. Um, if you've been here for a little while, I put a YouTube video out in like October when I was traveling and couldn't go live. And I killed a bug during that video too. But I've been finding those tiny little bugs all over here, like in my craft room. Every time I craft, I have so many lights on for the videos and they just flock to them. So I do apologize for that, but <laughs> I knew that would drive me crazy. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> uh, these are the cards I put out on Monday. So yeah, okay, Alicia remembers that when I killed the bug. Oh gosh, sorry. I know that you're supposed to try to let them go free, but I, I don't have time right now. I'm stamping. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, so I shared these cards yesterday on my blog, and they're very, very similar, but I wanted to share them here too really quick, just as inspiration. Um, so I used one of the pieces of the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper, and I actually cut it down to the same size as this white sheet. So this white piece actually is behind that designer series paper as well. And I just took my paper and I cut it in half diagonally wherever I felt like it. And look, I got two super cute, super easy cards out of this. No die cutting here, just stamps, ink, paper, and some cute little flowers, okay? Oh, thanks, Kathy. And of course I decorated the envelopes as well. So I wanted to share those. Let me put that up there. And then the card I shared today, I made two of, of course. I usually make two of all of my cards. I don't know why. I just always do. Um, so here's this one. Um, they're very similar, actually. They look the same, but I thought that was so cute. So this sentiment is in this um, stamp set, and I love it. I think that's such a sweet, such a sweet one. Uh, super cute even for my niece to give to some of her friends on her soccer team. And then, of course, here's the other one, which looks the same. <laughs> but I did use different uh, paper for their flaps here. So this one's actually from the Butterfly Kisses, and this pattern is actually from the Cup of Tea or Tea Boutique paper. Okay, so that's what I shared today, which was part of my color challenge. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. And I think I'm going to, I was going to, I had an order to what, how I wanted to do this. Yeah, we're going to keep the order. Okay, so let me pull out first what we've got. And this card is so fun. So now we're going to get into the cards that you can get for free with an order in my online store this week. Again, just place a $35 order and you can get these six card kits to each of the three designs I'm going to show you now. Um, you can get them for free. So this is the first card. Isn't this so fun? So this part actually flips up and then this flips down. Look at how fun that is. So I didn't put anything on the inside right now, um, but on the outside it says, hey, I thought that's so cute. And of course, I decorated my envelope. You'll, I love the designer series paper for that. So I'm just going to stick that in the corner. And that's going to be our little road map as we make this card together, okay? So let me grab out these pieces here. And so here's what you'll get in your card kit. You will get a Calypso Coral card base. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, guys. You're already saying you love it. I haven't even shown you yet. <laughs> uh, this is a Calypso Coral card base. Now, I'm not going to give you measurements during this video because they will be written on the PDF tutorial that you will get for free also with the card kits when you order, okay? Um, but there is a score line here. I don't know if you can see it very well. There we go. You can kind of see it. There is a score line there. Um, and then you'll also get a scalloped, uh, this is Calypso Coral, and then you'll get a scalloped rectangle. This was die cut with the scalloped contours dies. You'll get that. You'll get a piece of basic white for the inside. I usually don't include these, but because you can see it on the outside, I think it counts. <laughs> and you'll have a die cut circle with that stylish shapes die set. Look at that. Isn't that fun? You'll also get a piece of fresh freesia. I feel like a game show host sometimes. <laughs> and a tiny little piece for your sentiment. 
and you'll get a piece of designer series paper. Now your pattern might be different. You'll notice here I've got a flower pattern, here I've got a wavy one, but I promise it'll coordinate with the colors, but you might get a different pattern than I have. And you can of course use the other side if you want to. And you'll get a piece of parakeet party cardstock to die cut out a cute little butterfly. I chose this one. You can choose whichever one you want, but this butterfly will not be pre die cut out for you. You'll need to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start here with my designer series paper and we'll go ahead and add some seal to the back and then get this layered onto our fresh freesia piece and then let's go ahead add some more seal to the back and we'll get this layered onto our whoops glad that didn't fly too far <laughs> we'll get this adhered here but first i'm going to fold this up from the bottom and crease it okay or burnish and grab this. Now this one obviously is not directional, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. If yours is directional, you just want to make sure that it, you know that this flap opens to the bottom, okay? Or I suppose you could have it open to the top if you wanted to switch it up, but I have designed it to open to the bottom. All right, so we'll do that. And because I like to make sure things are extra burnished, give it a nice another, a nice, a nice another, a nice another. That's what we're going for today. A nice another. <laughs> anyway. All right. Then I'm going to take this scalloped piece here. Now I'm hung up on this. A nice another. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm going to bring in my trimmer. And you can see here, there's a stitched part right up here. And I'm going to line that up in my trimmer. This part is not necessarily required, but I find it works a little bit easier this way. So I'm going to line those stitched pieces up in my trimmer and I'm going to take my scoring blade. The darker one cuts, the lighter one scores if you're using Stampin' Ups, okay? And I'm going to score this. You can hear it go kind of funny and that's how I know I got right on those stitched marks. And that way I've got this piece that will fold right over like this, which makes it a little bit easier to get everything adhered, okay? I'm going to take my basic white piece and go on the back and let's see. So right where my finger is, is where I want this piece to sit, right? So I'm going to get very close to the edge here with some seal. Let's see. Can you see the shiny part here? Come on, show, show the people. Anyway, it's right here. <laughs> it's easier to show on the, on darker cardstock. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line this up where I want it, which is about, oh, maybe half an inch from the left and press this down okay and it's going right on top of that seal and we've got that pressed down to the back and then i'm going to go ahead and we're going to add some seal to the back so we can get that adhered to our card now no shame and going right over that calypso coral piece again to make sure it'll stick like confirm it will stick right and we're going to go ahead and get this centered on the inside like so how fun is that? We'll close that up and close that. Look at, we've got our fun little mechanism there. I need to grab out some dimensionals because I forgot to earlier. Can you believe that? <laughs> All right. And then I like to look at my sample card because I don't remember if I put this white circle in dimensionals. Yes, I did. I did indeed. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take my circle and add some dimensionals to the back. Now you want to be careful here because I'll show you. You can tell this one really is like the same width as our calypso coral piece so it doesn't matter too much you're not going to get dimensional stuck on our basic white piece here um but if you were using like a bigger shape or this part was smaller you'd want to make sure that you didn't get any dimensionals or adhesive stuck there okay one way to avoid that you can see maybe you can't you can see here i kind of went in the edge a little bit more than i normally would okay let's peel off all of these backings oh i didn't keep my trash can open when I had to sweep the bug away. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get that right onto our Calypso Coral flap. I love it. Okay. Then I'm going to use my liquid glue on our butterfly. Now, adhesive sheets are also a great option for these butterflies because they are very detailed, but you can get, you know, some liquid glue on these wings too. So I'm just putting a little bit on the inside of the wings to make sure those will stick down too. And let's go ahead, lay this onto our circle. How cute is he? I love it. I love it. I, um, this is like the first time I actually, well, not the first time. This is like the second time I've made cards like this. The first time I've shared a card like this. Uh, and I love it. I'm going to make them all the time now. <laughs> 
Uh, thanks, Mom. All right, so then I'm going to bring in some gorgeous grape ink. Now, this is, color is not in the designer series paper, but I really like how gorgeous grape ink works with fresh freesia cardstock because it's just a nice darker color that looks real good, I think. And let's go ahead and get that stamped onto our little fresh freesia strip here. And we are going to use gorgeous grape again later. So I'm just going to stick that in that box over there. And we will grab our scissors or our snips and just trim down this sentiment a little bit. So let's cut here and cut across the top. There we go. I hope you guys are all staying cool today. In Minnesota, it is like 90 something degrees. No, thank you. <laughs> That's all I have to say. My hair does not like that kind of weather. <laughs> all right, I've got our cute little sentiment here popped up on a dimensional and we are going to add that over here on the side. Then we're gonna finish off with our beautiful, these are super fun. You can tell because it has the word fun in the title of these embellishments, uh, but we are going to use these super fun um, resin flowers, fun, wait, fun flowers resin shapes. That's what they're called. I am using the fresh freesia ones and I grabbed one big and one little and I just stuck them right on the side. Oh my gosh, Alicia said so, so humid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it sure, sure is. I'm gonna remove this cap here. Oh, thank you guys. It is so humid, but you know what? It's okay just avoid going outside, right? <laughs> All right, so there is our first card. How fun is that? And then of course you can decorate the inside as you want to. Um, and I'm gonna leave that up to you to do however you want to, whatever you need this card for, okay? All right, I'm gonna set that to the side. And let's see here, I'm trying to make a little bit of room. There we go. Let's make our second card. Thank you guys so much. Okay, this bin is heavier because we've got lots of inks in here. So let's see how we can do this. So this is gonna be our second card. How beautiful is that? We are going to do some die cutting with this one. Um, super fun to get those cute butterflies, I love it. And let me set that off for our roadmap, grab out our card kit, and then I'm gonna just stick this bin next to me here so I have it. Okay, so in your kit for this card, you will get a thick basic white card base right here um oh thanks Keisha um you will also get a piece of basic white for your uh, card front you'll have a piece of starry sky that was embossed thanks Barb uh with the into the clouds embossing folder look how fun that is and you can really see it on this darker cardstock how this just embosses so beautifully um, and then look, that's the back, but I wanted to see something. So, <laughs> um, but how beautiful that is. And then you'll get a, a strip of the designer series paper. I don't know how well it's picking up in the camera, but this is actually parakeet party and it's a bunch of little dots. It's so, so, oh, there we go. I think you can see it. So the other side are those butterflies that you can actually cut out to use as well. Um, but you'll get a strip of that and you'll have a scrap of basic white to do some of your stamping. So let's start with, Oh, we'll do the stamping later. How about let's start with these pieces. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take my cloud embossing piece. Um, yes, Debbie, isn't that such a fun, this is such a fun embossing folder. I'm going to add, and it's so satisfying. I don't know if you heard it like rub across, but it, it's just so satisfying. <laughs> I've added some seal to the back. We are going to get it lined up here. Now this is, uh, this is the bottom and this is the top, but I am going to flip it over and line this up. Now this is my little trick to get things flush on the long edge. I like to line it up this way and then connect it. Okay, so there we go. So that part is at the top, but that way I get it all flush and that's just my little secret. That's how I like to do it. Then I'm gonna take our designer series paper scrap and add some seal in the middle. Now you can see I didn't cut these down to match this piece here. Um, so they're gonna be a little bit longer. So I focused my seal right in the center and I didn't put any on the sides here because I'm gonna cut it all off anyway. Now there's no rhyme or reason to where you put this. If you like to have you know that much of the starry sky showing, do that. If you wanna do it like way down here, do that. But I'm gonna do mine right about in the middle. So let's actually use our grid here to get things lined up. How does that look? I think that looks pretty good. So I went over just feeling here. I'm about half on the starry sky, half off. So uh, thanks, Kathy. We'll bring in our little trash can. 
Sorry, it's messy, but it's a trash can. So what do you expect? <laughs> and snip off these edges here. Go ahead and move that out of the way. And then let's go ahead. We're going to stamp quick. And so we've got this super fun sentiment that says sending good vibes. How cute is that? And starry sky. Of course, we've got to match our embossed piece here. And I'm going to ink this up. And we're going to stamp this down. Now, one tip, you'll notice that it's on my block crooked. You can see that there, right? And I like to do that with my stamps sometimes because if I put them on the block about straight, then I tend to rely on the edge of the block to tell me if the stamp is straight. And that's not always true, right? Because we place them ourselves. So if I place my stamp crooked, then I am more likely to see where the stamp is going and less likely to see where the block is telling me. Okay. So that's just another tip for you there. Obviously, if you have a different way that you like, use that. But okay, we've got that added. Let's go ahead and add this to our card base. So we will add this. I actually just sent this card um, to a friend of mine. I made another one and I sent it to a friend of mine who lives in New York City and she is leaving. She um, is, she acts, she's an actor or actress. And she is actually leaving to go do the international tour of a chorus line. She's going to Japan for a few months. So that, I sent her this, sending good vibes. I thought that was such a good one to send her her way as she's leaving the country for a few months. I think that's so cool. All right, so we've got this all ready. Let's go ahead and do some of our stamping here on our scrap piece. And let's see how well I can do this. <laughs> so I've got out uh, this stamp and let's see, I'm going to copy this. So these two here are going to use Calypso Coral. So let's do those first. Um, oh, yeah, that's so funny. Uh, Keisha says, it's a great tip Tuesday. I know, I guess today I'm in, I'm usually in a good mood. But today, I don't know. I'm just feeling in an extra good mood today. It's a good day. Maybe because at lunch I had a blizzard from Dairy Queen. So maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't usually go out for lunch, but today... I did. And it was awesome. All right. So I have stamped. These are the bigger wings in that polka dot pattern. And then this is the smaller body. And I, you don't have to do the exact same colors that I'm doing, but this is what I liked. So I'm going to do those ones. Then we're done with Calypso Coral. And let's do Crushed Curry next. And these are colors that are all in the yeah, that would do it for sure. <laughs> and my, the blizzard I had actually uh, was um, the new Oreo dirt pie, which is so good. So I had some gummy worms in there too, and they're definitely providing some extra sugar. <laughs> uh, but these colors are all in the designer series paper. And I think they're so beautiful together. A, a secret that I'll tell you is crushed curry, which is the color I'm using right now, is a color I never, ever use except for in the fall. I use it in the fall all the time and I never, ever give it the light of day otherwise. Um, so it's pretty nice actually to be able to bust it out, use it on a summer card. And you know what? It looks beautiful with these colors. All right. Then we're going to do some parakeet party and we are going to use, so you can see this was the bigger wing with those larger polka dots. This one is a wing with the smaller polka dots that are kind of like offset. And then we're going to do parakeet party in this little wing here. That's kind of triangle, you'll triangular words. <laughs> and let's stamp that over there. And then we're going to do the bigger body and parakeet party as well. And look at that. I fit them all on. Go me. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and close this up. You guys, my st stamps, you stamps are taken over. All right, we've got that. Let's go ahead. We're going to bring in our stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to use the big guy because I want to cut all of these out in one fell swoop. And we will go ahead and I'm going to grab all of my dies here and let's go ahead and line these up. So this one will go with this one. Sorry if you can't see if my arm was in the way. So those ones will go together. These ones will go together. And you can see here too, there's really fun detailed ones that go with each of the outlines. So you can avoid cutting or stamping if you want to. You can just die cut out wings or your whole butterfly. All right, we've got the little body here. Oops, okay, I didn't move that one. I thought I did. Got that little body. Then we've got the bigger body. And oh gosh, I did move it that time. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's wiggle this guy in. He'd be a cute little worm too. Um, let's use, let's see, we've got this one. 
and we've got one more here, this one. So you can see there's one butterfly wing type that we did not use this round, and that's okay. That's okay. All right. We've got all those pieces there. Let's go ahead. We will die cut them through. Sorry if the camera shakes a little bit. There we go. And let's see here. I'm going to put them. Whoa. Oh, remind me at the end of the video that I dropped a die on the ground. <laughs> I'm just going to stick these back into my case real quick so I don't drop any more on the ground. And hopefully I don't roll over it. Maybe I should just try to find it. Okay. Hold on. Quick pause. There it is. It was right there. Good. That worked out. If I had to search for it, I probably wouldn't have right now. <laughs> All right. Let's get rid of this. Oops. There we go. And grab our pieces here. And let's go ahead and assemble our flutterflies. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Keisha said, get it in case we all forget. It's like I read your mind. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and we are going to separate out our butterfly pieces here. So we're going to use the big body with these two and the little body with these two. So we've got all three of those colors. Um, oh, Barb. Yeah, so Barb said she tried to order that magnet sheet I was using in my, um, when I was just die cutting. I'm going to glue these while I say this. But yes, Barb, they did end up having an issue with it. Mine has not had an issue. So I continue to use mine. Um, but I usually try not to show things on my video that you can't order. Unfortunately, that is like the one thing I'm using that you can't order right now. Um, because they were finding an issue with some people's plates that they were actually separating. Like some of the layers were separating. So they did turn off the ordering for those magnetic plates. Um, so my apologies for that, but hopefully they will get it all figured out and they will get it back soon. Um, make sure I'll put something out in my email newsletter when I have more information on that. So Barb, I know you're subscribed to that, but anybody else who's listening who is not subscribed, make sure you do that. Um, it's uh, newsletter.stampwithmelissa.com to get signed up there. All right. And that's just another plug for my newsletter. If you're not already following me there, um, I love it. It's my favorite form of communication. So that is where I tend to have most of my information go out via that. So, um, oh, Barb has sad faces. I know. I'm sorry, Barb. And Alicia says hers hasn't had any problems either. So I'm not really sure if maybe it was like um, a climate thing. I don't know who was affected or like what regions they lived in. So unfortunately though, they did find some issues with it that they did not experience while they were testing it. Um, again, mine hasn't had any problems. So I like it and I'm, I continue to use it and I forget that you can't buy it. So my apologies. All right, I added some dimensionals to the back of our butterflies and we are going to get these popped up on our card because they're so cute. And I love the cloud embossing folder with these butterflies because uh, they're flying in the sky. <laughs> so I just think it's so adorable. And there is our second cute little butterfly there. Let's go ahead and bring in our fun flower resin shapes again. And we'll use our starry sky ones. I believe these are, yeah, these would be starry sky Um flowers here. They're so cute. And we're going to use a big and a little again. And I just put them over here on the side. So super duper cute. There is our second card. How fun is that? All right, let me put that off to the side. And you guys, are you ready for the third project? Let me take a drink. Okay. The third project is not a card. So get ready. All right, here's a little backstory. A few weeks ago, my niece, well, she has soccer every week and I go to her games all the time because I love it. Um, but a few weeks ago, she was in charge of snacks. So my sister bought these. They're called Starburst Swirlers. And basically it's just a mix of two flavors into like a stick, okay? And I was like, wow, these are really cute. That would be really fun to make a little like project out of. Well, then I was scrolling on Instagram and because that's my favorite place to find card inspiration. And I came across one of the artisan design team members who made this. Now, this is the important part for this part of the story. Um, she made this. She made a present out of the butterfly wings. And I was like, that is so clever, so cute. I need to do that. 
So I turned it into a cute little gift pouch. Look at that. So this is actually our third project this week is this holder. And you guys, I found, I found them. I found Starburst Swirlers. So when you order this week um, and you get this class packet, I will include the candy. I'm so excited about it. I think they're just, they're so good. And look at that. They're just, so there's three different flavors. This one was the strawberry cherry, but they also have cherry lemon and strawberry orange. I love it. So, oh, thank you guys. So let's go ahead. We're going to make this next one. Now I will say there is a little bit of a complicated step here, um, which we're going to work through together. So let's take a look at what you get in your card kit. You will have a piece of crushed curry. Now I liked this color because I thought it tied together with that Starburst logo really well. Um, <laughs> Keisha said, you guys get such cool treats. She's jealous. That's because Keisha is in Canada. So she does not quite get to enjoy these with us. But Keisha, if you ever find them, you'll have to check it out. <laughs> All right. So you have a piece of crushed curry. I'm trying to show you here. It is scored right here. And it is also scored over on the side here. Okay. So we've got that. We've got a piece of crushed curry that was embossed with the Hive 3D embossing folder. We've got a piece of, well, you'll actually get two pieces of fresh fruit. So one of them I'll tell you is, this one is, I will give you this measurement. This is one and a half by two inches. Um, you'll have two pieces like this because you'll get two kits. And this is for the present. You'll also get a piece of fresh freesia to die cut out, whoops, the bow or the wing, right? And so you want to just make sure you're using the right piece. But this, the piece that you'll have to die cut this out will be bigger than this. And then you'll have a piece of gorgeous grape to die cut out this detailed part. How cute is that? And you'll have this itty bitty little strip of gorgeous grape to use as like the ribbon on the package, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Now this one's fun. We've got two score lines here. So let's go ahead and we'll just burnish right away. Um, and let's do that. I can't wait to eat this after we're done. <laughs> that's, the, that's my honest truth. I'm gonna eat it for sure. All right, so we've scored that. You could also, if you don't like these, or if like Keisha, if you are making this and you don't have these, pixie sticks would also work. Or maybe like, um, I don't know if they make smaller nerd ropes, because uh, I know there's usually long nerd ropes, but if they make smaller ones, those would work too. So you can see here, we've got this fun little like curved bit here. Um, and so what you're gonna find is you get this, right? And so you're gonna have to get creative with what you have or order something. Um, to do this with whatever you decide, okay, to cut out a fun little swoop. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to pull out, push those to the side quick. I'm going to pull out my stamp and cut and emboss machine. A punch would also work for this if you have like a circle punch, okay? And I'm going to grab my things. Let me move that so you can see it. And I just am going to grab my piece here and I'm going to put it down so my, um, score line is over here to the right. I might change that. I have to remind myself. And I'm going to use the basic border dies. So this is a six pack, if you will, of different borders that you can use on your cards, which I think is really cool. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down. Let's see, which one did I do before? Let me remind myself which one I did. Oh yeah. Okay. I actually did this side. <laughs> so, um, Oh yeah, Alicia, I know what you're talking about. That's very clever. She said she wonders if the drink pouches would fit like the crystal light pouches or something. That's clever or Kool-Aid or something. That would be cool. You could try those as well. Um, and if you did like a lemonade one or something, that would match, right? So you can see here with this die that I'm using, it actually doesn't go all the way to the edge of the metal. You can see that line right in the middle there ends there. So I'm gonna get a little bit creative here and hope it works, but I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this down and, um, excuse me, and I'm going to get this lined up here. I'm trying to pivot it so it doesn't go off of my plate. If you're wondering, why is she finagling that? <laughs> and I'm just going to get this lined up so that this part where it cuts looks about even. Now you can see I went over that score line a little bit. That's just because of that little ridge there that I was talking about. So let's go ahead. We're going to die cut this and let's see what happens. Okay. First, I thought I wasn't die cutting right, but I was. So, okay, because I didn't feel it. You know, when you die cut, you could just like feel it grab. I didn't feel that, but it's because it's so little. Okay, let me move these guys out of the way. And 
There we go. Look at how fun that is. Obviously, we can't leave it like this. <laughs> we are going to snip off this piece here. So I'm just going to grab my paper snips and we'll cut down there. Oops. I cut almost all the way to the edge. There we go. So we've got this guy now, right? And then we're just going to have to, I'm folding it here without folding in this other score line yet. Um, Q Ross from Friends. Yeah. <laughs> I am just going to cut across right to that score line there just to make sure that that part isn't seen when I fold it in because I'm going to fold that part in to adhere to. And I don't want this bit right here to be seen. So I just cut across there and I was just using that as a guide to see how far down I needed to cut. And then we'll cut on that score line to get rid of this little bit. Pivot, pivot. <laughs> All right, we've got that. And let's go ahead then. And I am going to, let's bring in actually my um, silicone craft mat. Now, if you don't have one of these, I recommend them because it helps so that you don't get any adhesive, like nothing sticks to this mat. So you can tell I ran that seal half on, half off. And the part where I ran off didn't stick to this. It just kind of folded itself over. So bingo. <laughs> and then I'm going to run some seal just on the bottom here because I don't need my stick to go all the way down and I don't want it to come out the bottom. So I'm going to fold this in and fold this over. And... Voila. Look at that. Look at how neat that is, right? Okay, let's get rid of that for a second and we'll go ahead and do some of our other stuff. So let's add some seal to the back of our hive embossing folder. And oh, chapstick would look cute with this too if you um, could cut down the size of it. You could trim it, right? And you could put chapstick in there. That would be fun. Um, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and grab a messy scrap paper. I've got my bins here, so I can't get to it. Hold on. There we go. Grab some messy scrap paper and we will grab gorgeous grape ink. And I'm going to use this cute little circle stamp. Look at how fun that is. We'll ink that up. I almost said dip it. We'll dip it in the gorgeous grape ink. <laughs> and we're just going to stamp around because I thought it added kind of a fun little texture here. There is also a triangular stamp, and that would be really fun too. So you can pick whichever one you want to use. And we've got that added, so we can close this up. And then we'll go ahead and add our little strip here. So I will grab my liquid glue, because it is a small amount again. And just put some liquid glue on here. Stick that down in the middle like so and then we're going to use some liquid glue on the back of our detailed bow or wing technically wing but for these purposes it's a bow just add some glue there and i'll pick this piece up just so i don't get any glue on my desktop but we'll just go ahead and adhere these together we can close this and add i didn't open the box of the of the new one so i'll have to test it out with this one but you guys i'm for sure gonna have one after this <laughs> all right let's go ahead like i need more sugar today right let's add this i'm gonna add it on slightly crooked just a little bit we added our present let's add some dimensionals to the back of our bow and peel off those backings and voila look at that all right let's test it Come on, look at how fun that is. So you could give this or you could give this. How fun is that? So there is the third project. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. Flowers. <laughs> we got to add our flowers. And of course we have crushed curry flowers. So I'm going to add a big one and a little one. You can tell my trend for today. I just used those two. Oh, thank you guys so much. You're, you're always so kind. So there's that. Let me put, that's our old one. Here's our new one. Look at how fun that is. So let me pull in all three of our projects from today. And look at how cool. I love them. Thank you guys so, so much for your compliments and for watching today. It's always a lot more fun to stamp when I know people are here commenting with me and that I'm not just talking to myself because I'm kind of am, but 
I feel like I'm talking to you, even though I can't see you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. As a reminder, if you place a $35 order before tax and shipping in my online store by Friday, June 17th, at the end of the day, um, you will get these card kits for free or project kits because this is not a card, but project kits. Um, oh, thanks, Keisha. Uh, for free. So you'll get two of each of these and you'll get some candy. So I mean, <laughs> who can resist candy, right? No, anyway. Uh, and if your order goes up to $50, you will also get a full pack, not, not, you know, used like mine, but you'll get a full pack of these fun flowers, resin shapes as well. Okay. Also just, oh, thank you so much, you guys. Um, also, just a reminder that if you'd like to sign up for my Sweetest Christmas Mystery Craft Box, that is open through June 30th. Uh, but I wouldn't wait because I am going to close that off at a certain number of participants. So if you want to secure your box, make sure you do that now. And I also have a product share going on as well for the new mini catalog. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week. Next week, I am going to use the Cottage Rose Suite or bundle that Abigail Rose suite is next week. All right. And the week after that, and that's what I was pausing for because I had to make a decision here live about which one was next week and which one was the week after. But then the week after that, I'll use the happy forest friends. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, or like my Facebook page, if you haven't already, I will catch you next week. Bye for now.